the time to join this free webinar today. My name is Dale Bateman from buildyoursuccessonline.com. I'm a part-time internet marketer living near Toronto, Canada. My background is in graphic design, marketing, and personal training. Plus, I've been building my online business as a part-time internet marketer for almost four years. Now, before I get started with today's free webinar, let me share with you what I believe is the number one mistake that most internet marketers make. And yes, this includes me, especially when they are just getting started. Because I am truly passionate about wanting to help people achieve more success in their lives, and hopefully you will learn from my mistakes. As you know, many people have had great success online. However, without even realizing it, they were creating only a short-term business model. Why? They didn't build a list. They create a multitude of products to sell online. Some are good. Most are not so good. They sell them through forums, affiliates, and advertising. Maybe they make a lot of money. Most of the time they don't. Why? They didn't build a list. Some of the greatest online marketers have had pockets of success by leveraging things like Google AdSense. By implementing simple keyword strategies early on, some brought in a whopping six-figure income. But then, Google changed the rules, and these once successful online marketers were left with almost nothing. Can you guess why? That's right, they didn't build a list. So why is a good list so important? Quite simply, a quality list will continue to pay you for your quality online content over and over and over again. It all comes down to the trust that you earn from your email list. They learn to trust you because you've taken the time to build a strong relationship with them. So what's the best way to build a strong loyal list? That's what we're going to cover in this free webinar series. So, I want to officially welcome you to my first internet marketing webinar. Let's get started. Grab a pen and some paper to make some notes. Once the webinar is over, I'll open the floor for some Q&A. Right now, I'm doing high-level internet marketing and creating automated and passive sources of income online. Plus, I'm enjoying teaching people, just like you, how to do the same thing and make money online. But this time around, I'm making sure that everyone on my team is focused on building a list. Don't make the same mistakes that I made. Make sure that you take the strategies you will learn here and use them to build a strong, loyal email list. But remember, when you are successful, make certain that you take time for what's really important in your life, like spending more time with your family, or maybe doing some traveling you've always wanted to do, or being able to buy that new car you've always wanted. I mean, that's what's so great about working from home. You have the freedom to do what you want, when you want, and as much as you want. Now, let's get to building you a good list. Here's what we'll be covering tonight. First, I want to explain in my own words exactly what internet marketing is. Then, I want to give you five questions to ask yourself about your own reasons for becoming an internet marketer. Finally, I want to leave you with a five-part action plan for success. And we'll finish with some Q&A. So first off, let's start with asking the question, what is internet marketing? Well, the current Wikipedia definition of internet marketing is internet marketing, also known as 
web marketing, online marketing, e-marketing, etc., 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 is referred to as the marketing and promoting of products or services via the internet. Go figure, right? What's the bottom line? Well, let me explain a little more. So there's actually millions of business owners that haven't taken the leap into online marketing in any way at all. But it's quickly becoming one of the fastest and most cost-effective ways to advertise for businesses big and small, simply because the playing field is somewhat leveled. With some creativity and a little bit of know-how, a small business can have a huge impact in their marketplace. That was once only reserved for large companies with massive advertising budgets. Internet marketing can be used to help you reach your target market on a much larger scale than ever before, making it possible to advance, improve, and grow your business very quickly. So let's start by understanding a little bit more about what internet marketing is. So it's also considered to be very broad in its scope because it not only refers to marketing on the internet, but also includes marketing done via email and wireless media, digital customer data, and electronic customer relationship management. These systems are also often grouped together under the term internet marketing. So back to the bottom line, internet marketing ties together the creative and technical aspects of the internet, including design, development, advertising, and sales. It also refers to the placement of media along many different stages of the customer engagement cycle through search engine marketing, or SEM, search engine optimization, or SEO, banner ads on specific websites, email marketing, mobile advertising, and web 2.0 strategies. A solid internet marketing campaign can help to bring in more prospects, more customers, ignite interest, build a brand, drive traffic, and so much more. In other words, it's going to help increase profits and take your business to new heights. So there are many aspects involved when it comes to learning the art of internet marketing. And it's important to make sure that you are at least familiar with the basics before you move forward. You'll want to make sure that you are approaching the powerful tool with the right mindset. This is very important, guys. So now I want to go over five basic questions you should consider before you begin becoming an internet marketer. All right, so let's get started. Number one, what are you trying to accomplish? Okay, you need to understand exactly what you're trying to accomplish with internet marketing before you plan your online campaign strategy. Think about your goals. Are you trying to increase traffic to your website, increase sales, or simply increase awareness? Your answer to this question will directly influence the types of tactics that you use in your online campaign. All right, moving on to question two. What are you trying to say? You need to make sure that you understand exactly what you're trying to say to your possible consumers and clients through your online marketing. Think about what you need people to know after reading your marketing tools. Should they know about the quality of your business or the success that your business can bring? Can they save money with your company or can you offer them something unique? Whatever your goal may be, your message should be clear and concise. On to question three. Who are you talking to? This is very important. You need to understand exactly who you're talking to before you start your online campaign. Think about your target. In other words, your target market. Think about their characteristics and their personality as well. This will help you to tailor your message to their wants and needs specifically. And guys, just an added note here, uh, I always find it's a good idea to 
physically write down exactly who it is you are talking to. Give them a name, give them a persona, uh, tell yourself where are they from, what's their income, you know, how old are they, do they have kids, do they not have kids, and so on and so on. Get as specific as you can with this. You really have to understand your target market in order to be successful. With that, let's move on to question four. What mediums are used by your target market? You, you also need to understand the tools that your target market responds to the most when putting together your campaign. Some tactics that your target market will not respond to will be a waste of, you know, that's just common sense. So you need to focus on the tactics that, are, that will effectively reach your target. While emails may be perfect for some target audiences, search engine optimization may be perfect for others. So, not only identify who they are, but identify the best way to get in touch with them. Are they a Facebook user? Are they a Twitter user? I tend to find that people are either one or the other. I don't know too many people myself who use Twitter and Facebook as you know, as much uh, individually, uh, or sorry, as a pair, as they do individually, I should say. Okay? Um, many people, obviously, are, are fans of Facebook. Other people are fans of Twitter. It all comes down to, again, who exactly is your target market. Okay? So, are we ready to go on to number five? Here's the last question you want to ask yourself before you decide to jump into internet marketing. Here we go. It's a big one. What is your budget? So in the end, guys, you need to make sure that you keep your budget in mind. How much money do you have and how much is the campaign you're going to run going to cost you? You may be able to add tactics to your campaign or you may need to remove tactics from your campaign. Knowing your budget will help you to understand exactly how far your internet marketing campaign can go. Now I'm talking here specifically about paid, paid advertising, but I want to reassure you that in future webinars I'm really going to be dumbing down into some great tactics for you for free traffic, generating free traffic and growing that list that way. Okay. So guys, in conclusion with your five questions here, um, by taking the time to consider the answers to them, you will be better able to approach your internet marketing goals with the proper mindset for success. And it'll help you to come up with a list of tactics for your own internet marketing campaign. Does that make sense? I hope so. Okay, moving on. So you've answered your questions. You're ready to get started with your campaign. Now I want to give you some tools to help you be more, uh, help you work more efficiently, uh, be more productive, and so on. Okay? So here's your five part action plan for success. And I'm going to be building on this each week, guys. These webinars are going to happen every week. And I'm going to give you five action plan tips every week until we get up to 50 so we're running this for 10 consecutive weeks this webinar series so each week you're going to get five individual action plan items to work on until you're building on them and you have all 50 incorporated into your business to help you be more successful so here they are number one eliminate the temptation to waste time all right. Now, what I mean by that is, you know, if this is especially so if you are in the online industry, there are so many distractions online from news to gossip to videos, etc., etc. The list goes on and on, guys. One way to do away with such distractions is to deliberately cripple the technology to boost productivity. Okay. You do this by restricting access to sites that distract you for the period of time that you're working. Okay? So decide for yourself. Okay, let's say you're like me, you're a part-time internet marketer, 
So I tend to do a little bit of work early in the morning before I have to go to work. And then I do generally about two to three hours in the evening after I get home from work. So very important during those periods of time, whenever you decide that it's your time to work on your business, turn off the temptations, okay? Shut down the email, close your Facebook, close your Twitter. Um, if you've got a specific task that you have to do that evening or that morning, whatever it might be, focus on it. We're going to get to that in a little bit uh, with another uh, with uh, number five, but um, I just want to really make sure that you're shutting out all temptations, okay? If you're in the same room where you have a television, turn the television off. Uh, turn down your phone. Turn off your phone. Um, turn off the radio. Eliminate any forms of distraction that will take you away from getting your work done. Because let's face it, you're, if you are distracted and tempted and you get into doing something you shouldn't be, that's taking away from getting further with your business, you're really going to be feeling like you're letting yourself down afterwards, okay? You're going to start feeling guilty and say, oh, gee, I wish I wouldn't have gotten into that uh, that chat room or uh, started uh, doing those uh, repetitive tweets on Twitter, so on and so on, okay? So really try to eliminate the temptation to waste time. On to number two, wake up early and get to work. Okay, I just talked about, you know, deciding when it is you're going to do your work on your business. Okay, that's totally up to you and it's a totally personal thing. Okay, it depends on what else you've got going on. But early risers have a more productive mornings, get more done, and report less stress on average than late risers. Early mornings are usually very productive times to complete important tasks for your business. You'll be able to accomplish more in the same amount of time. And that is great. I know for myself, when I got up a little bit earlier, I'm able to maybe crank out a couple of uh, blog posts for my blog. Um, maybe that's the time when I answer my emails and just set aside some time early in the morning if you can to really get some important stuff taken care of all right number three moving on take your breaks seriously all right when you are working for yourself working at home and again it doesn't matter if it's part-time or full-time okay obviously we all want to eventually be full-time but for some of us, myself included, right now, our uh, situations dictate that we have to do it part-time. But even if you're doing it part-time, take your breaks seriously. I'll, I'll give you an example. Don't eat your lunch at your desk or wherever you do your online business work, okay? In your office, whatever it might be. Use your lunch time to rejuvenate, refresh, and really take a break. If you have to re-energize by getting out of the chair and out of that room okay after lunch you'll be much more productive because you've renewed your energy to complete your own tasks and you're going to do that more efficiently all right so you know if you have a full-time job or a part-time job that you go to obviously everybody takes breaks through the day you know it could be your lunch break your uh, heaven forbid your smoke break I hope you're not but anyway um, that's a whole other subject but um, you know you, you take regular breaks in your job okay and you take those seriously so why not take it seriously when you're working for yourself you do need to take a break and you do need to rejuvenate and get rested and ready to take on the other challenges you have ahead of you okay so take your breaks seriously Number four, almost done. Leave your work unfinished before your break. Okay, I'll tell you what this one means. If you leave a task unfinished and then take a break, what this helps you to do is to zap right back into the flow once you get back from your break because your brain craves completion. I want to repeat that. Your brain craves completion. 
So in other words, your brain really is not satisfied until it knows that you have completed that task, whatever it might be. Writing that email, getting that ebook written, uh, writing that blog post, doing that video, uploading it to YouTube. Once those tasks are completed, your brain will say, okay, done, moving on, okay? But until that point, you still have that feeling that, hey, there's something unfinished that I have to do, and you start feeling that stress building in yourself. So really take that seriously, and before you go on break, don't finish a task, leave it unfinished. That'll give you that extra drive when you get back from your break to make sure that you push through and get it done. Okay, so leave work unfinished before your break. Number five, your last action step for this week. Concentrate on one thing at a time. All right, and this goes for just about anything you're doing, guys. It doesn't have to just apply to your online business. Uh, obviously, that's what we're talking about here. But, um, you know, everybody thinks they're a good multitasker, and many people are. But really, when you think about it, if we concentrated on just one thing at a time, how much more efficiently we would be at getting those individual things done. Okay? So multitasking, it does cut back on your productivity. So instead of juggling multiple projects at once, focus on one thing at a time by scheduling out blocks of time, or even entire days, during which you only concentrate on one task or one project. Okay? So, you know, you've, uh, again, back to the point, if you have a full-time job, you're working now, and you have tasks to do throughout the day. And, you know, even if we uh, subconsciously do it in our mind, we set aside, we tend to set aside time in advance to do those tasks. Okay, so you say to yourself, okay, I'm going to do task A between 10 and 11 today. And quite often that's how it works out. So it all comes back to really taking your online business seriously, treating it like an actual business, and concentrating on one thing at a time will help you get from task to task, making sure that they are completed and completed to your satisfaction. Okay? So those are your five action tips. I want to go over them one more time. Number one, eliminate the temptation to waste time. Number two, wake up early and get to work. Number three, take your breaks seriously. Number four, leave work unfinished before your break. And number five, concentrate on one thing at a time. All right? So, if you put these into practice right away, you will see a gain in your productivity and your success. So that, guys, is the completion of my first internet marketing webinar. I want to say thank you so much for attending. And now I'm going to open it up for some questions and answers. Okay? So bring them on and we'll take care of them right now. Uh, in the meantime, I want to remind you, like I said before, and if you missed it, I am going to be running these webinars for 10 consecutive weeks. Each week you're going to get some, I hope, useful information about internet marketing and online marketing. And at the completion of each, uh, each of the webinars, I'm going to give you five action steps that you can put into practice right away to help you in your business to move it forward and to make it a success okay so watch for my next email uh, note on Facebook whatever it is however you got uh, in touch and you heard about this webinar keep watching because I'm going to be announcing when the next one is and it'll be coming up very soon one per week for 10 consecutive weeks and at any time you want more information, you can visit my Facebook uh, page, uh, Build Your Success Online. 
Uh, I've also got a very cool new Facebook group started up with about 40 or so members so far. Uh, a lot of great people in there to uh, ask and answer questions. And that is called Frustrated Online Marketers. So look for that in Facebook. And you can also check out my blog at buildyoursuccessonline.com. So thanks again, guys. I really appreciate your time. And I look forward to seeing you at the next webinar. Thanks again. Bye-bye.